72.2 kilograms. What sort of a difference do you think this does for you tomorrow night, being in this sort of condition, compared to what we saw a minute ago? It's probably great for my brain, and I'm not dehydrating myself and then getting punched in the head tomorrow, so I'm feeling quite good, quite comfortable, I'm relaxed and ready to go. What a fire yesterday, are you expecting anything today? Possibly, who knows. Um, Mike was probably not in probably very good mood, making weight, so I wouldn't be surprised if he was a angry. Thank you, Jeff Horn. That'll bring to the scales the victor from Bendigo. Please welcome the former Commonwealth champion, Michael Freeborn. Is here. Yeah. Yeah. You've got this, Mike. 72.55. 72.55. Michael's in right now. Has made the weight, and we do have a fight. Here in Brisbane tomorrow night. So repeat, you can watch it all live on main event television, the broadcast from 6 pm Brisbane time. Michael, you said you might be a bit angry today after making the way. How do you feel? <laughs> You've had a lot to say. Is that now over? No more talk? All done. I'm talking to Anne tomorrow night. I will come back for the W. What does this mean to you to have this victory a second time around against Jeff Horn? It's my life. Like I said, the only next day standing in my way is Jeff Horn now. Again. You're not angry? Not at all. Thank you very much, Michael, for that. We'll face these two players off here on the stage. It all goes down tomorrow night on main event television. This man, Michael Zarafi, have been very outspoken throughout this preparation, this promotion, but a bit quiet today. Yeah, look, all the talking's done. You know, uh, yeah, even yesterday, I didn't want to act the way I acted, but um, you know, certain members in his team just frustrated me a little bit. And but I'm cool, I'm calm, collected. I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to. It, I'm excited. Uh, I know all the hard work's been pay done, so we'll pay off tomorrow night. But there is a lot of feeling here. You've said that you want to retire, Jeff Horn. You've said a lot of things about Glenn Rushton. Obviously, this is a fight that you desperately want to win, and not just for the victory. It's a must win for me, and it's not a disrespectful thing towards Jeff Horn. It's just I hate the way they've always overlooked me. You know, everything I've achieved, everything I've done, even beating Jeff Horn the first time, they don't give me the, you know, the acknowledgement that I deserve. And that's why I want to put an end to this, you know, this chapter and just close the book. You know, for me, this means everything. So, Jeff Horn's the only man standing in my way now. You just stood in front of him at the weigh-in. He looks physically a lot different to what he did in Bendigo. Did you notice that? 100%, but his muscles can't fall for him. I know he's going to be a little bit fitter. He's going to be a little bit stronger. But his boxing IQ is going to still be the same. You know, he's going to walk forward. He will, you know, the steam train, that's how he is. And, and so I take full respect to, to Jeff Horn. He's done things I want to do and, and achieve. But... Um, you know, you've got to be smart in this game, and I, I just believe I've got the more boxing IQ. I'm just a smarter fighter. Why should people tune in and watch this fight? It's going to be, uh, it's going to be fireworks. You know, it's going to be a war. I'm expecting that, uh, but I will come home with a victory. Good luck to Michael Zarafa. Thank you very much.
Michael Zarafa there. He takes on Jeff Horn in this massive rematch. You'll see it live on main event television. Huge fight on main event television tomorrow night. Jeff Horn, very different looking Jeff Horn to what we saw in Bendigo. It is. I'm a lot more relaxed, a lot more comfortable, and um, yeah, I'm not stressed about tomorrow night. Looking back on what happened there, on weigh-in day, did you know something was up? Not really. Like I, I was probably confident, probably overconfident going into that fight. Even though I knew I had a tough test, I kind of probably was cutting some corners here and there, and it made it a lot more difficult when I got in there. And if you were to put it into words, how much better you feel and how much more prepared you feel this time around, what would you say? Look, I feel 100% better. Um, I think I'm way more confident that I'm going to get the job done this time. Very angry, Michael Zarafa, through the course of the week. He said he wasn't angry today, but what do you think you see, and particularly when you were staring into his eyes there for a while? I think he's very frustrated, and I think I've got his manager this time. I'm very confident in that. Uh, he's angry. He said he's going to knock me out. Um, it's all talk, though, isn't it? Until we get in there and our fists start doing the talking. You've got a big crowd of Brisbane people coming out to watch you, a huge audience that will be watching you on main event as well. Do you think that that sort of support helps coming into a fight like this? Oh, absolutely. I love the home support, love coming from home, love the, the people that I have around. They can all come and watch and um, it's going to be absolutely amazing to, to go out there at the convention centre on, on Wednesday night and, and just enjoy myself. What are they going to see if they tune in? Look, an exciting fight, an explosive fight. And a great undercard as well. I've got my brother fighting on the undercard and other, other big fights as well, like Liam Wilson. And uh, I cannot wait to get out there. Good luck tomorrow night. Thank you.